So now we're going to be transformed and doing the same combo. And this is a basic ass combo, right? Again, just a straight five, uh, five light, three heavy into the knockdown, into Sonic Rush, and then after Sonic Rush is over, I'm going to hit him with the Kyle Cannon, and I'm basically looking at almost 20k damage. Look at this, 19,071 damage. Damn! What is good, buddy? It is your boy, Cab with another xenoverse 2 video for you guys today we have the very first dlc 14 buff slash nerf video that we're gonna make on an actual skill and it is a skill that i believe is probably top five now in strike supers and that is sonic rush guys sonic rush did receive a uh, buff in the recent patch to where now basically you can use this move off of knockaways knockdowns and it's very very easy to connect with and honestly that was one of the things that held this move back in the past because for strike based skills this skill does some damn good damage when you compare him to other strike based skills like i said so again what we're going to be doing in this video is basically showcasing this skill showing why i believe it's probably a top five strike super in the game like honestly i don't even think it's just a belief it's it's like a a no at this point in time like i i feel like i know that this skill is without a doubt a top five strike based super because of all the things that you can do with it and then the simple fact that it also does a good amount of damage for a strike based skill like i have raid blast and divine retribution on so we can compare damage wise to those skills and we can talk about again and see why this skill is so damn good overall not only for its uses but its damage as well so let's jump into it first of all with the damage guys now this skill right now is doing a total of 4258 damage i don't have a super soul on at all so if a super soul was active i would be doing that much more damage depending on what kind of super soul it is so 4258 without a super soul and in base form is pretty damn good now i think i have my i think i finally warmed up super soul which gives me a medium boost to all attacks and it is the one that i'll be running with this build because i'm gonna be using super saiyan blue so with that super soul now active i'm now getting a total damage of 4,682, right? Now let's compare that to a skill like Raid Blast, for example. Raid Blast, I'm going to be getting somewhere around, because the damage varies depending on how high or low you are from the map, I'm going to be getting somewhere around 4,201 damage, and if I use this variation of it, I don't think we're going to reach the ground, are we? No, we're not. All right, we should be able to reach the ground this time. Hello. All right, this time with this variation of it, which is the one that you use more because you use the skill off of knockaways and knockdowns and things like that, you're getting 3,382. So clearly Sonic Rush is by far doing more damage than Raid Blast, which is a very, very good strike skill or considered to be one in this game. Now, another one that is considered to be very good is Divine Retribution. Divine Retribution damage wise, you're getting 5,271 damage. So yes, it does more, but Sonic Rush is a one key bar move while Divine Retribution is a two key bar move. So again, you can see that Sonic Rush's damage when you compare it to some of the other better strike based supers within the game, the damage is very good without a doubt. Now, in terms of the use is like i said you can now use this move off of knockaways off of knockdowns any kind of combo really you can use this skill which makes it so much better guys the fact that you don't have to use it and it's like stop your combo for example doing something like this before in the past would be how you would use like a sonic rush so the fact that you don't have to do that or try and figure out some clever way to combo it with other moves and things like that it makes the skill so much better because it already did good damage you cannot escape it like the minute that you get hit by that part of the sonic rush you cannot escape it at all so you got to eat the whole thing and then on top of all of that guys one of the things that really makes this skill great is this right here the ability to do something like this boom knock him down straight into a kaioken kamehameha And you can use other key base skills or really just skills that will reach down there in general and you will be able to land i literally tested it online and it does work and you guys will see in this video as well that it works online because we're going to be taking this skill online to showcase it and show off some of the things that i was talking about in training mode so you have that option with sonic rush but you also just have this regular option as well like you can literally just float down the knockdown of sonic rush is so long you can literally just go down and make them waste stamina like that because they're going to be pressing x most likely to get up and recover so by the time you get down there and just bake them or punch them one time they're going to vanish and they're going to lose two bars so again you can also do that with sonic rush like sonic rush is just a very damn good skill 
in my opinion. And it's one of the best strike supers in the game after this uh, buff to it. Because again, like I said, now you can actually use the move in true combos. You don't have to just stop your combo midway to use it right there off of a knockdown. You see the move connects easily, right? Boom. Then we're going to hit him with the last bit of it. And personally, I would always like to go into the Kaioken Kamehameha just for that insane damage. Like, look at that, guys. 15,539 damage from that basic-ass combo in base form with the Super Soul that only gives me a 10% increase to my damages. That is pretty damn insane. Like, think about the damage we're about to get if I was to be transformed. So now we're going to be transformed and doing the same combo. And this is a basic-ass combo, right? Again, just a straight five, uh, five light, three heavy into the knockdown, into Sonic Rush, and then after Sonic Rush is over, I'm gonna hit him with the Kyle Cannon, and I'm basically looking at almost 20k damage. Look at this, 19,071 damage off of that simple ass combo right there. Almost two bars for basically doing one simple combo. That is how good Sonic Rush is now at this point in time, man. So what we're going to do now with this skill is take it online and showcase it and show that it does work off the knockaways, knockdowns, and that you can also combo with like a Kaioken Kamehameha afterwards in an online setting. Now, when we go online, we always go in strong. So, let's get it. All right, y'all, here we go in the PvP. Now, we're going to have to showcase this in multiple ways. One, hello, what is my man doing? Where are you going, bro? Tried to back hit, but it didn't come out. What? 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 Hello? I'm just stupid. But again, we're going to have to showcase this skill in multiple ways. Um, What is my man's doing? Coming for an attack. What, bro? How is he getting priority on this? Okay, we're just going to use the skill right now off of... Uh, I have no idea how the man's has gotten priority twice on a skill like that. We showed it off the knockdown, right? And then we also show that you can use Kaioken Kamehameha immediately afterwards. Honestly, we might be able to showcase everything that... Oh, oh, that was a little... That was a little funky looking. I can understand why there was some nonsense going on before with the hit detection. Um, we showcased it off the knockaway. Now we just got to showcase... I mean, the knockdown. Now we just got to showcase it off the knockaway. And then also show that I will be able to float down to my opponent before he's able to recover so I can make him waste that stamina, right? Okay. No, 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 damn it. I didn't mean to press the last button of that triangle. Okay, hold on, hold on. We can still do this. We got this. We got this because now we can't vanish. That's the great thing about Sonic Rush. You cannot get out of it at this point in time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to float down. You see, my man literally was not able to recover, and he wasn't spamming the X button, so he actually took some damage at the beginning right there. So in every way that I talked about that you can use this skill, knock away, knock down, you're able to do it. The things that you're able to do after this skill that I talked about, follow up with the move like a Kyle Ken Kamehameha, you're able to do it. And then also float down to your opponent and make them waste stamina or continue your combo like you saw right there. You're able to do it. So overall, man, this skill... It, it may, it may, it's definitely top five. Like, undoubtedly, in my opinion, at this point, it is a definite top five strike base super within this game. Because you think about all the things that you're actually able to do off of it, and then the simple fact that you're still getting great damage for a strike base super. Like, guys, 4,652 damage on a strike base super is damn good in this game especially when you think about some of the other ones that are thought to be good like raid blast you guys saw raid blast off the variation that a lot of people use it in which is the knockaway version and you vanish you're only getting like 3300 to 3000 maybe 500 600 damage if you're a little bit higher up and get a few more punches in on the way down so when you compare it to a move like that it's doing at least a thousand damage more that is damn good damage like i said so again overall sonic rush is it, it's an amazing skill man like, it is without a doubt one of the best strike supers in the game because of all the things that you can do with it. Not only the fact that it works very, very easily now, but also, like I said, the things you can do with this skill. The follow-up ability that you have with this skill is just absolutely amazing because that knockdown is like an extremely heavy knockdown where they are on the ground for a long amount of time and you guys saw, literally can land a whole nother move afterwards. I'm very curious. You might even be able to land some like fast-ass ults. Like, for example, a surging strike. Or, or or something like that you are uh, not surging strikes a sign of a why did i say surging strike i was i was thinking of like a modded move because that's what something similar to what um sign of awakening is was called in a mod at one point in time but sign of awakening you could probably combo that immediately afterwards so there's just skills like that that you can probably use immediately after that even some ultimates and they will be able to connect because that knockdown is just so damn long but let me know what you guys think about sonic rush after this update man is this a skill that you're going to be throwing on your strike base cac's and in your kit because even on a key base cac this is not a bad skill by any means because 
again right when they get hit by it they are locked in and then you have multiple options afterwards of what you want to do you can use it to combo into another move like a cow can come out my high and if you aren't a key base build that cow can come out my high is going to be doing insane damage or you can still just float down and make them waste stamina like i said so even on a sh uh, key base build sonic rush may not be a bad move at all like yes the damage may not be the craziest you'll probably be looking at like 3000 3500 somewhere along those lines but still all the things that you get off of the skill afterwards still make it pretty much worth to run even on a non-strike base skill so again man let me know what you guys think about sonic rush in xenoverse 2 after dlc 14 and if you will be running it on your cac's as well but till next time thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed and as always hope you have a good one hey shout